Now in my last video, uh, I was basically showing how you can use the GoPro Hero 11 as a great vlogging camera. So I'm gonna practice what I preach. So I'm actually heading out today on a little bit of a drive on probably one of the most beautiful coastlines that you'll ever see in Ireland. So I'm starting in North Kerry here and uh, I'm gonna head into Tralee and then I'm gonna head out towards Dingle. Um, beautiful area out around there. So let's see how we can actually vlog with the GoPro Hero 11. First towns, if you're up around North Kerry, that you have to visit is a place called this stole. This stole is famous for the writer John B. Keane, and um, every year they have what's called Writers' Week. Um, John B. Keane was a famous poet here from North Kerry. He wrote from just above the pub that they had here, which was uh, John B. Keane's pub, and uh, he used to sit in a room just above the bar itself and look out over the whole of the stole and. That's where he used to write from. Son Billy still has the pub today, but uh, it's a beautiful little town, so make sure you visit this store. When you go on a road trip, you have to have some snacks. So I got myself a little bag of popcorn. Keep me going for a while. that's on every year and the beautiful roses come from all over the world with their Irish heritage and um, that's what Tralee is most famous for definitely is the Rose of Tralee festival that's on every year it's a, a week-long festival I'm not sure I think it's in September or something like that but um, very famous for that and Tralee is an absolutely gorgeous town it really is some beautiful gardens around here and then it's surrounded by the absolutely beautiful uh, mountains, the Kerry Mountains that are around as well. So um, yeah, we said we'd just pop through Tralee here as we head to our destination. So this here behind me is the Rose Hotel. So when the Rose of Tralee Festival is actually on, then a lot of the time this is where all the roses will actually stay. And then just right around here, the opposite side, so this area here is where they put up the huge marquee that actually hosts the Rose of Tralee as well. So yeah, so the, the festival goes on in August and then uh, runs for about a week. And uh, all excitement and the place to be absolutely hopping. It's great. If you get a chance to be here for the festival, it's absolutely amazing. Definitely do it. Now, 
as we head out towards Dingle, uh, there's two ways that you can actually go. So you can head off to the left and go the main road, which is uh, Dingle on the Skull, if you head off that direction. Sun is coming out, Ooh, I love it. Um, but the way we're gonna go is we're gonna head the Castle Gregory Road. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put the GoPro on the top of the car, and this is up through the Connor Pass, and what we'll do is we'll come down the other side. So I'm gonna get some shots of heading up over the Connor Pass, and uh, we'll come down into Dingle. And what I hope to do then is head out the other side, maybe out towards Dunquin Pier, and uh, I'll show you that side out there. Beautiful, I love this. It's God's country, I mean, it's it's beautiful part of the country. I had to stop just for a brief second to show you uh, this view from the beautiful Connor Pass. So we'll just put the car in and have a look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now this is just up a small little bit. We haven't even, uh, this is only just a little pulling area. So we haven't even reached the top yet. So you have a little waterfall here and actually up the very top if you were to head up here, there's a lovely little lake that's just up here as well. Like I said, stunning spot. said it's really really narrow coming up there but have a look at this view you really aren't going to get much of a better view in the world oh my god it's cold as well so this is the almost the top of the Connor Pass and we're going to head back down the other side which will actually bring you back into Dingle and uh, head out the rest of the way so let's take a look So that below down here, that's Dingle down there and um, such a clear day today that you can actually see in the distance a lot of the islands that are out there. So this here is the beautiful town of Dingle. Now we're not going to stop here right now because I do want to take you out further out the peninsula and uh, we're just going to go and see if we can visit Dunkley but we'll come back here again. Now behind me here is the famous Paddy O'Shea's pub. Um, Dolly Parton sang in here, believe it or not. Yeah, so this is the start of Sleigh Head. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out Sleigh Head direction. So I'm gonna mount the uh, GoPro on the front of the car and you're gonna see a pretty amazing trip out this way. We're actually almost there now, uh, we're actually in Dunquin itself and uh, if you can see just out in the distance here they call that the Sleeping Giant which is just here in the body and um, just beyond that then as well, out a little bit further, I'm not sure exactly how far out it was, a lot of the Star Wars were actually shot on location around here and in the distance outside you have Skellig Michael um, where you know a lot of Star Wars was shot but back down here on uh, Dun, I think it's called Dunmore uh, that's where they shot a lot of um, some of the scenes from Star Wars as well 
So yeah, so just down here is where we're heading to, to see where the pier is. And I'm hoping to see as well uh, the cemetery where Peg Sayers is actually buried. A friend of mine, uh, Rob Desmond, just told me that she's here as well, so I'm going to check that out. This is the resting place of uh, Peg Sayers, be known to a lot of uh, Irish people. And uh, to be honest, I don't know too much about her myself. She lived out on the islands out there at the Great Blessing, as far as I know. She died in 1958. And look at the view that she actually has. This is the view from her resting place. Like I said, Dunquin Pier considered to be one of the most beautiful spots in Ireland and it really, really, truly is. Absolutely stunning. Dingle Town was probably famous for two things. One is good fish and chips, and the second one was a dolphin called Fungi. Now, unfortunately, Fungi hasn't been spotted in the last couple of years, so fears are that he has since passed away. Um, funny enough, when I was actually in Portugal, uh, I went out on a trip to see some dolphins, and the guys that were on the boat, I said to them, I said, uh, oh, I come from Ireland. I said, there's a famous dolphin from there. And they said, yes, 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 fungi, fungi, we know fungi. So he's famous all over the world, but unfortunately he hasn't been seen. One of the things that Dingle also has is an abundance of cafes and bars. Uh, Grey crack here in the summertime, I know that myself. It's a bit quieter now because we're on the 1st of March. But I'd say for Paddy's weekend, the place is going to be absolutely hopping. But uh, I love this town, it's a beautiful town. You definitely have to be here. So this was the beautiful Dunquin Pier out on the Dingle Peninsula. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
and like this video as well and uh, I'll see you all again very very soon. Thanks folks.